Okay. Part three says calculate the to the nearest degree the bearing of G from B. G from B. From B means B is where the arc and the north line is going to go. So we have our north line here already. The arc will be something like this. All right. So this is the angle we really want. You me measure the bearing from north in a clockwise direction. Now, the strategy here, the way I see it, is to find out what this angle is and then add 42 to it to get the full angle for the bearing, right? Now what we have, we have this, we have three sides, we have an angle, we could use the sine rule, looking at the sine rule, again, you could temporarily change these letters to the ABC, like they appear in the formula sheet. Let's say this is A, B, and C. The, we have small a here. The opposite to angle A. This is big B. Call this big B. We have small b. This is big C. We have small c. Now, A the formula sheet says a over sine a equal b over sine b equal c over sine c where the common a b and c are the sides and the capital a b and c are the angles opposite to them now a over sine a we could use this a the small a is 69.6 69.6 over sine of 103 that's big a is equal to small b here 55 over sine of the angle b in this case it's a b c the sine of a b c now what is 69.6 over sine 103 69.6 over sine 103. So 69.6 over sine 103. And remember, we're dealing with degrees, so you must make sure your scientific calculator is in degree mode. I have 71.4. I have 71.4 here. So What this is saying is that 71.4 is equal to 55 over sine ABC. Now the sine of ABC when you transpose is going to be 55 over 71.4. So 55 over that answer, 55 over this, 55 over that gives Zero point, call it seven seven zero point seven seven. So the sine of that angle sine ABC is zero point seven seven. How do you get ABC? You remember what you need is the sine inverse of point seven seven. So I'm going to find the sine inverse of that. On your calculator, you use shift or degree mode, but on this, I use this method, sine inverse, and I get 50.35 degrees, 50.35. So, ABC 
is 50.35 now that's this angle here right here it's 50.35 I need to add it to the 42 now to get the entire bearing so 42 plus 50.35 that's what 42.005 and 05 3 and 0 3 2 and 0 2 4 and 5 9 so I have 92.35 they say to the nearest degree so the answer would be 92 degrees for, for part 3